Hey guys, Steel Games here, and today I'm going to be doing an overview and first thoughts on the brand new Google slash Asus Nexus 7. I happen to have both Nexus 7s here. This is the original model, as you can see. Uh, and right off the bat, I gotta say, I think the new one is a lot better. That is my opinion on it. Uh, you probably remember me saying that this one is broken on a video a while back. So, uh, just a few days after this one came out, I went ahead and purchased it on Newegg and got it today. And I am very, 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 very pleased with it. So, I'm going to be showing you what the difference are, differences are between the two devices, and then I'm going to be showing you just exactly how this guy runs. Um, I'm not going to do any benchmarks or anything like that, because I feel it's not really necessary, as benchmarks have been covered by the major reviewers like Mobile Tech Review and Techno Buffalo and all those. So, if you want to see benchmarks, you can just look them up online. Um, the first notable thing between these two devices is the back. Uh, that's probably what you're going to notice right off the bat. If I put this one close to the camera here, you can see it sort of has like a golf ball texture to it with uh, very small bumps on it, and that makes it very grippy, but it also makes it look like a really childish device in my opinion. It looks like something you would give to your kids almost, just because of the way that back is put together. And I like it because it's nice and grippy and easy to hold, but I don't think it uh, makes it look like a very prof uh, professional device. The new Nexus 7, on the other hand, has this soft touch back, just like you would get on a Kindle Fire. Uh, it's still very grippy, very easy to hold on to. My hands are pretty hot right now, and sort of sweaty, and I can hold it just fine one-handed without dropping it or anything like that. So you're not going to be dropping it with uh, this non-textured back. Um, it feels very good to the touch, and it feels like a quality piece, just with the time I've had with it. Um, I've only had it for about half an hour, but it, uh, it feels very nice to hold. And because of this curve uh, on the side of the device, it makes it feel very thin, and it makes it very easy to hold on to. So it's not a slippery bar of soap like a, uh, a Galaxy S3 or S4. Uh, it's nice and easy to hold on to, and I think the material that they chose for this just looks fantastic. So you can make your own decision on that, uh, but it feels very nice in the hands. Another thing to note is that this is quite a bit lighter than the old model. Uh, it's something, I want to say it's like 20 grams lighter or something like that, maybe even 30. Um, I can't remember the exact specs, but this feels notably heavier in my hands. So uh, this um, definitely feels like a heavier device. The new one is uh, much lighter, and they also managed to make it thinner. So let's see if I can get a good angle to show you guys just how much thinner it is. You can see it's uh, a good bit thinner there, and you can definitely feel that uh, that extra thinness when you're messing with it. It feels really good. Over here, we have our 5 megapixel shooter camera, uh, which also takes 1080p video. And I think that's cool because this is a 1080p display versus the 720p display on the old Nexus 7. Um, or actually, I believe this is 1280 by 800. This is 1920 by 1200. So there is a lot more pixels crammed into this space. So when you're shooting 1080p video, you're going to be able to see every single bit of that recorded footage. So it's going to look really nice, and you'll be able to see exactly what your recorded footage is, uh, is going to look like because it's a very good display uh, with a lot of resolution, and it displays colors very well. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, the last notable thing is that there are now two speakers versus the old device, which just had speakers, or a speaker, right back here. That's the only speaker you got. And the new one has stereo speakers at the top. You can sort of see the speaker grill there. Not very well, though, on this crappy camera. I don't know if you can see that. And there's also another speaker grill down here by the USB port. So you now have very good audio from this. Even though your hands are sort of going to be covering the speakers when you're holding it like this, it's a very good experience for watching movies on Netflix or whatever because of those dual speakers. They just sound amazing, and they are very loud, and they sound very good. So I'd imagine if you took it and just placed it face down like this while you were listening to music or something like that, it would sound fantastic. So very nice. 
Now I'm actually going to go ahead and fire up the device so you can see just how fantastic the display looks. And this light isn't really doing it any justice. Let's see if I can move that down or something. There we go, that's a little bit better. I'll also go ahead and move the camera over. So you can see it's a very bright and very good looking display. And this is with brightness at about half. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the brightness now. And you can see just how bright that display is. It's a fantastic looking display uh, on this 7 inch tablet. 1920 by 1200 like I said before and it just looks amazing. I'm really really blown away by how good the screen quality is. Uh, and I know a lot of people were disappointed that they changed the price on the Nexus 7 from 200 to 230 dollars with the new model but those 30 dollars are worth it to make it a better product because this tablet has so many more features and it's just such a, a better piece than the old Nexus 7. Now I'm going to go ahead and demo some 1080p video for you. And don't worry, the screen is not as much of a fingerprint magnet as it appears on video. It looks like it's really dirty right now, but in fact the screen is actually very clean looking even after using it for 30 minutes. So don't worry about fingerprints or anything like that. Let's go ahead and play the video. I'll crank the sound up as well so you can see just how loud these speakers are. To be honest, they're so loud that it's almost a little uncomfortable when I'm just sitting here by myself to have it all the way up. That's how loud and good sounding these speakers are. This is full HD 1080p video. This is a Samsung HD video test, I believe. And from that, you can get an idea of just how good this display looks and how good the speakers sound. It is a fantastic device. Uh, if you like the first one, you're going to like the second one even more. And if you're just getting into Android tablets and uh, you think you might want one, then go with this one. Because I am almost guaranteed, or it is almost guaranteed, not I am almost guaranteed. It is almost guaranteed that you will like this tablet because... It's uh, a great form factor, a great feeling device, and I like it a ton. So I would totally recommend it. You can get it now for $230 on several sites, including Google Zone, Google Play, uh, Amazon, and Newegg. So any of those methods you can choose to get this device. See you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.